Now, remember, everyone, I promised you at the top of the show, we've got a market watcher who says that this second wave idea is utter nonsense. The man who's saying that is David Barnson, and he joins us now. Utter nonsense. The second wave. Strong stuff, David. Make your case. Well, the language I would use to describe what's going on is not nearly as strong as the language everybody is using to try to fearmonger and sensationalize the data. You heard what Ash just said, 259 cases in Oklahoma, 259. So this is a surge, right? Now, it's a couple thousand in Florida. It had been trending uh, 1,600, so it's up a few hundred. It actually went down yesterday versus the day before. Uh, not a single one of these states is even close to ventilator capacity or hospitalization capacity. But then when they say it's uh, being linked to a couple bars that reopened, well, I'm sorry, all of those bars have reopened in Europe when all of those countries have seen their declines totally stabilize. The median state decrease in our country where there's been reopenings is all negative. The case growth is negative. Positivity rate is going lower. There are a couple counties where you've seen an increase. L.A. County is one, Maricopa County in Arizona, Miami-Dade in Florida. But the numbers have to be taken in context where you're talking about a few hundred people here and there. Now, on a personal level, human level, you know me well enough to know I don't belittle that. I don't want any mortalities. I want this disease to go away. But when I see the sensationalism that is going on with so much of the press that refused to present this as a health risk three weeks ago when you had millions of people protesting and none of those states have seen an outbreak. Those positive test cases would be coming in now from Minnesota and New York. We are seeing declines in New York. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I'm a market watcher, as you said, Stuart. My objective is to evaluate how this impacts the economy, how this impacts things for investors. I don't want a couple hundred more people in the hospital in Arizona any more than anyone else does. But there's no possible way that's leading to this whole second wave economic shutdown. It's sensationalism. I can let other people decide if they think some of it's politically motivated or not, but I certainly think most of it's clickbait, and I think it's shameful. Oh, huh, okay. So, yeah, that's strong stuff, Mr. Barnson, and uh, I like the way you're going I'm there. Holding, I'm holding back, Stuart. I'm holding yeah. back. <laughs> okay. If that's you holding back, I'd love to see you unleashed. David Barnson, everyone. Good man. See you soon. Thank you very much, David. All right.